Hello everyone. Um, today I am going to show you guys how to make it snow on your computer. Since it's so close to Christmas, I thought it would be a pretty co cool thing to show you guys. Um, okay, this particular program I didn't come come up with the concept myself, but um, I saw it on a site a few months ago and I just modified it and uh, simplified it to make it easier to understand. So here we go. Um, to start I have uh, two constant variables called total flakes and layer. Total flakes is the amount of flakes I'm going to make appear on the screen. Layer is essentially the distance at which each flake is going to be. I also have a variable named flakes x, which holds the x position of each flake, flakes y, which holds the y position of each flake, and flake layer, which is going to hold the distance at which each flake is going to be. And uh, I have color, which is going to um, hold the color of each flake. Now I have a function called initialize particle flake. This function, its sole purpose is to put the particles somewhere on the screen. So to do that, I have a variable named i. I have a for loop, which will loop around a thousand times. And then the, those three pieces of code right here, essentially the first one, is going to pick a random x value between 0 and 639 and assign it to a particle. And then it's also going to pick a random y value between 0 and 479 and assign it to a particle. And it's going to pick a random layer between 0 and 2 and assign it to a particle. Now, since I have a function to put the particle somewhere, I want to actually draw the particles. And for that, I have a function named draw particle flakes. I have a variable named i. I have a for loop that will run a thousand times. And for the flakes, I'm just going to draw circles, which with, um, with very small radius. So, I have flakes x as the for the x value flakes y as the y value 0 0.1 for the radius and the color I have the variable color to tell which color the flakes is going to be now right here is where um, you will see the purpose of me having a variable name color so this code says if the layer <clears throat> Sorry. So if the layer is zero, then assign this color. If the layer is one, assign this color. If the layer is two, assign this color. So essentially, depending on the layer the particle is in, it will have a different color. This is done so it can um make the illusion more realistic. Now that I have drawn the particles, have a play of a position for them, I want to actually make them move across the screen. The function update particle flakes is what's going to have the flakes move from top to bottom. So here here's how it works have a variable name i, I have a for loop that will run a thousand times and I have this piece of code right here. This piece of code will change the y position of each flake. So this what this piece of piece of code says is take the initial position of the flake, which means the position it, it is at right now, 
and then add it to the layer that it is in plus one. You need the plus one here because the layer can be zero, in which case if you didn't have the plus one it wouldn't move. So this code will essentially move particles in different layers at different speed. So for example if the layer is zero the particle will move by one pixel. If the layer is one the particle will move by two pixels. If the layer is two the particle will move by three pixels. This also plays a role in adding to the illusion, making it more real. Now um, another thing I need to do is to check when a particle has reached the bottom of the screen. And this code right here is what does that. So it says if the flick reaches the, the bottom of the screen, give it a new exposition between 0 and 639, um, make its Y position 0, and choose another layer for it. This um, piece of code right here is to move the flakes in the X direction. In other words, it will give it a wavy um, well it will make it move from left to right so as it's falling it's gonna move left and right it's gonna add to the illusion but if you don't have this the flakes will just go straight down and they won't like go back and forth I'm just gonna leave it as a comment and then at the end I will uncomment it and let you guys see how um, it adds to the illusion. So now we are in main and all of this is essentially what you will put in any Allegro program. Now I call the initialized particle first and I'm calling it outside of the loop because I don't need to initialize it every time. And then within the while loop, I am going to call the update because I have to keep it moving, so I have to update every time. And I have a rest, which depending on how fast your computer is, you can change that value to 10 or 20. You can just try and see what works for you. Then I clear the screen to prevent snaring. If I don't clear the screen, they'll just be smearing all over the place and it'll just look ugly and then I draw the particles again because if you clear the screen and you don't draw the particles again you won't see anything and that's pretty much the whole program and that's how it works And if I add the uh, piece of code that I talked about, the, the one that changes the X from right to left, here's how it looks. Feel free to comment or if you have a question, feel free to ask me.